What's up everybody? How you guys doing? It's been a while since I did one of these video vlogs for you guys. I know, um, you, hopefully, hopefully you guys did catch um, the ROM review of Dirty Unicorns, <clears throat> which is basically an unofficial version of AOKP, and they actually made a 4.3 Jelly Bean AOSP ROM for the Epic 4G Touch, which was all kinds of goodness. Um, I'm going to recap a little bit about it because as you guys can see, I am not on it anymore. And uh, then I'll tell you guys why. I will here in a little bit. So, uh, there we go. I'm sorry. Just the white balance kind of went off. Okay, so anyways, um, first off, as you guys know, I like to do questions and answers, response to comments. 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 <laughs> comments on um, my YouTube channel and first off I want to say thank you to my new subscribers um, and just a short recap just a, been a hectic week for me so I have had packages lost in the mail by USPS uh, I got like three external batteries and a back cover to my G2 just floating somewhere around here um, so it's never made it to my place and I am trying to get my HTC G2 going again and um, yeah just all kinds of bad so anyways <clears throat> um, let's jump into some comments here from from you guys um, this one was about 14 hours ago it's from Dan Tony and this was a comment posted on my next book 8 inch tablet unboxing and a uh, comment says, uh, don't worry, you did great. Unboxings can be sometimes nerve-wracking, especially when doing it live. Thanks for the video. I'll be getting one of these next month. And Dan, Tony, thank you for that because, you know, obviously my tech show is not like an established, um, an established company like Techno Buffalo or Phone Dog. So everything that I um, <clears throat> get a chance to unbox is something that has to be out of my pocket, you know, and being a father of four kids, you really don't have any leftover cash just for yourself nowadays to just drop $700 on a device or whatever. So whatever I get a chance to unbox, I will unbox because I know people on on YouTube just love unboxings. Um, and uh, yeah, so hopefully at some point things will get a little bit better and I can actually um, do some more. But as far as me leaving the Galaxy S2, it's not happening anytime soon. I mean, regardless if the the S3, S4, and all those are out there, it's just not happening. I'm just right now too in love with this phone. <clears throat> uh, this next one is from LJ Simmons. This was a day ago. This was on the Nextbook 8 um, How to Root. And there's a question. Do you know how to put OpenGL on these tablets? <clears throat> um, no, I don't. I actually haven't really messed around with my tablet since since I've rooted it. Just because there's really no development. I mean, there's development for it right now, but it's not um, it's not a fast development happening for it. So there's no ROMs. There's not. I don't even think there's a Clockwork Mod Recovery built for the Nextbook 8 tablet. So um, after I rooted it, that's just pretty much anything that I've done to it um, it's still stock 4.1.1 and um, <clears throat> it's just it's just gonna stay that way um, until there's any kind of development sorry <clears throat> but yeah until there's any kind of like development for it as far as like ROMs and stuff like that where I can do ROM reviews for the tablet um, you know, I haven't really been messing with it so uh, you, most likely, you might want to check with XDA developers. They're usually the best source to kind of get these, these, uh, you know, the information for that kind of stuff. From, I definitely go check them out. <clears throat> okay, this was uh, about also. This was yesterday's uh, question. This is from Sean Wozniak. This was a day ago, and uh, this is a question posted on my Project X 3.3. Uh, ROM review for the Galaxy S2. The question is, what is the best TouchWiz ROM you suggest for our Virgin Mobile phones? Now, <clears throat> I really can't just like, it's really hard to narrow it down to like one because of the three ROMs that come to mind for me 
each one has something that cancels out the other one. And so it's, but I can give you three ROMs that are a definite go for the Galaxy S2 on Virgin Mobile that are um, TouchWiz based. Uh, number one would be Showstock. And the reason why I like Showstock is if you're a person who loves to multitask or just <clears throat> has to, you know, you just, you're just on everything. You know, you want to be on Facebook, you want to be on Twitter at the same time, or you want to be on Google Plus, you want to be on Facebook simultaneously. Um, one of the greatest things that Showstock ROM has, or Showstock 3 basically, is it has the multi-window. And that is, um, if you're big, like I said, you know, you, you cut off half your screen, top half is Google Plus, bottom half is Facebook. And, you know, you can just do amazing things with that phone. On the hind side of it, uh, what I found as a downer is the fact that you don't get visual voicemail. So, really, um, I mean, there's times where I don't even know I have a voicemail. I mean, I have to go on the hunch that if someone calls me, they might have left me a voicemail, but it doesn't give me a voicemail notification either. So I would actually have to like dial my phone number and then go through the whole automated, you know, you have no voicemails type thing or whatever from that robotic chick. And <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty tough. <clears throat> oh gosh. Excuse me, it's, like, it's getting cold, the weather's changing, and I'm so sensitive to weather change that rapidly. And it looks like it's gonna rain too, but <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> gosh, hold on, excuse me, guys. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, um, Showstock ROM is one of them. Another one is Touch by Galaxy S4 version 2.2. I asked this because it's the latest version. It gives you a lot of features from the S4, um, and it's, it's just all out generally works. <clears throat> and then without... Um, well, that one being said, and then, um, of course, uh, Project X, just because it takes a bunch of these different, these different aspects from, from these different ROMs, like from, from Sony, from Samsung, from HTC, it just takes bits and pieces and puts together. I like a ROM that has um, just some favorable parts from different um, UIs just because like you know you basically get the best of all the worlds you know you can have like the clock widget from the Z1 you have the um, uh, like like the say you like the touch with icons you have all those but you also have like the HTC sense lock screen and just it just makes it like where you personalize it and there are just so many combinations that it's really hard to have two phones exactly alike so those are my top three um, any of those three I would say are it but I really can't go from beyond those three and say there's clearly one definitive winner um, it's just too hard because one cancels out the other so um, with that being said I hope that kind of helps a little bit now um, those are really, oh wait, there's one more. This one's on the LG Thrive stuck in emergency mode. And this one was from, from iTamar, or yeah, I, iTamar, or sorry, iTamar425 um, posted on that, the LG Thrive stuck in emergency mode. Um, I have this problem every time I turn off the LG people. Okay. Yeah, um, I really can't help anyone with these old videos. Like I said, anything that, that was a pretty old video and it was done from any of my former collaborators on this channel, I really can't help you with when, when it comes to the videos that they put up because that was the videos they put up and just whatever questions they asked or whatever they uh, found out a fix for it. Um, I'm kind of stuck in this debate because I want to take their videos down so it doesn't confuse people. However, some of their videos have had good points and then people are still watching it and people are still gaining info from it and I don't want to be a dick and take those videos away that they can't um, see anymore. Because <clears throat> I know some of these guys that used to run on my channel um, don't have the same videos on their channel. Um, so I don't want to get rid of it, but then again I kind of do. So, I don't know, it's a toss up. I'm just going to leave it there. But yeah, can't help you with any of those old videos. <clears throat> now, comes down to 4.3 Dirty Unicorns and why it's not running on my device. Now, I said in the ROM review that it was all kinds of fast, and it really is. Slick as hell, it glides like butter. Um, I had no problems transitioning between uh, screen swipes, opening apps, closing apps. What I did find, though, was that there's a few animations that did chug the phone down a little bit. 
like when you're when you're going down on a list, um, a lot of the items would just kind of like kind of warp into place. So there was like, say if my fingers were the list that you would find right here, and you were scrolling, instead of them just scrolling upwards, they would just kind of like roll in, kind of like that. Sorry, it's a bad analogy for you guys, but. <laughs> and it would chug the phone down, so turning that animation off actually really did help a lot. But um, going back and forth between 3G and Wi-Fi was not an issue. I know with uh, Super Nexus uh, 3.0 and um, uh, Cyanogen Mod 10.2, that was the uh, Hood Pope edition built by Dastin. Um, they had that issue where you know you had to like turn off mobile data if you're going to turn on Wi-Fi, and then you have to turn off Wi-Fi first before turning back on mobile data. Otherwise, you just have the whole data issue hiccup, and um, that wasn't a problem there. The major problem that I had was just this this uh, point of where my phone would just boom not not turn on. And what I mean by that is like I could be in like in an app. Say I was on Instagram and I was looking at some pictures. And then um, if I power off my screen and I'm holding my phone in my hand, no problems. Here's where it gets weird. If I'm on Instagram or Facebook or whatever and I power off my screen and place my phone into like my pocket. Say I'm wearing basketball shorts like I am right now. So of course your phone's going to slide around in there when you're walking and bang against your knee and stuff like that. Um, Taking it back out maybe like after four minutes later and hitting the power button and it would do absolutely nothing. It would just stay. But I know the phone is on. But screen wouldn't turn on, no response. Um, constantly pressing the power button, wouldn't bring it back. So I have to pop my battery out. Which let's, And that's the next part of this is that, you know, when that happens, <clears throat> say I had like 98% battery and I pop the battery out and then I put the battery back in and power the phone on, my phone would drop to like 72%. And every time that that little freeze would happen, I would lose a good chunk of battery. And that started to become annoying. And I just didn't want to deal with it anymore. So I flashed to uh, touch my Galaxy S4 version 2.2, which, I mean, my girlfriend gets super pissed off at me because I just can't stay with one ROM longer than two days. Uh, I don't even think I went a whole week being on one single ROM, and that's, I don't know, I might get flash burn on this device because it's hard. I mean, there's days where I just feel like I want my phone to have that pure vanilla stock Android experience, and I can't uh, just wait to have it on there, so I flash, I flash it on my phone, and I'm running it, and then, like, you know, it could be six hours later, it could be 28 hours later. I would have the urge to just want to see TouchWiz back on my phone, and then I would go. Now, there is a ROM that does, um, it does kind of alleviate that problem, which is uh, Quacho version 3, I believe. Because it's an AOSP ROM, and it does have TouchWiz as a theme that could be applied after you install the ROM and everything like that. Biggest problem to that is, is, um, with this phone on TouchWiz, the speaker, big issue with me. Um, because on TouchWiz, on any TouchWiz based ROM, my speaker on my Galaxy S2 is blazingly loud. Whereas if I use AOSP, I gotta use an app called Speaker Boost and I gotta set you know, the boost limit. And all that other stuff just gets pretty cumbersome and just so at times annoying. So anyways, yeah. Um, so anyways, that's the reason why I'm not running dirty unicorns on my device. Now, that was just my experience. A lot of you guys may have different experiences. Some of you guys might install the ROM and have just near, near perfect experience with it. While other people will probably run into the same problems that I have. Um, the, the ROM is still in development. It hasn't reached its final point. There, it's not an official final release. So, um... I'll try again later on with it, and maybe with some of the other ones out there work, like I know Illusion ROM is a 4.31, that's AOSP that's coming out, and of course uh, Super Nexus 3.0, and uh, Hood Pulp Edition for um, San Andreas Mod 10.2 uh, from the developer Dastin, I know that is also still a work in progress, so there's just there, there should be a bunch of 4.3 ROMs that's going to be working pretty nicely. I'm still waiting for a 4.2.2 TouchWiz based ROM for the Galaxy S2. It can be done. If they can port Showstock 3 from the AT&T uh, model over to the Epic 4G Touch, then there should be no problems getting 
a 4.2.2 ROM. I mean, really, that's really what I want to see because a lot of the times that I go to AOSP is because it's 4.2.2, better battery life and a few key features that 4.1.2 doesn't have. And it would just be so awesome to have 4.2.2 and TouchWiz together and not the way that Quattro version 3 does it, but just actually have, you know, 4.2.2 with TouchWiz for the Epic 4G Touch would make, would make, I mean, by Christmas, some developer out there has got to see this. I mean, I wish I was um, a ROM chef and I would cook it up myself. Um, unfortunately, I am not at this point. And uh, maybe I should just get off my ass and do it, which is what some people would say, but I don't know. I just kind of want to leave it up to the professionals out there. These guys have been doing it for a while, um, so I would rather just have it done by someone who at this point knows what they're doing inside and out with the Epic 4G Touch, and I'm still learning more about it. Um, so yeah, guys, I pretty much closed out my vlog. I know it was like 15, 15, 16 minutes, guys. I'm sorry. I had a lot to say. I missed you guys, and I didn't get uh, to put up any videos for a while, and I wanted to say more on my 4.3 review, but I figured you guys don't want to hear me talk a lot of nonsense on that ROM review, so I just waited till today, Sunday, to actually do this video. So thanks. Thanks for actually... Um, if you stuck through the whole video, guys, thank you guys so much for actually watching it. It was loads of fun for me to actually sit here. I wish I could talk some more, but I'm probably boring you to death. And I'll see you guys next time with a vlog. I'm doing a live stream sometime this week, and I will post it up. Um, I had a few technical errors going on and a few things happening in my life that was kind of like BS. But you know what? I'm back, and I'm going to do the live stream um, on Ustream. So um, NRG underscore Rob at Ustream. You guys will find my Ustream channel, and I will post on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter, energy Rob, or energy underscore Rob, <laughs> Twitter, uh, yeah, at energy underscore Rob. Follow me on Twitter because um, you can ask questions there or hit me up on Hangouts on that day that we're streaming with your questions and I will answer them live. I want to have live interactions with you guys and just, you know, bring you guys into just uh, my circle of friends and, you know, have some fun talking about mobile technology, the, the Epic 4G Touch and any other device out there and also rumors of KitKat and all that other stuff which by the way if you guys haven't seen it there are leaked photos there's a leaked video of the Nexus 5 running KitKat it's a um, you guys can find it at fandroid.com or Android Life. it's actually really awesome really quick go ahead and check it out guys almost 20 minutes of this video I'm out see you guys next time peace